M0FXB, welcome back to my videos learning the Fagi Reborn firmware on the UV K5 K6 Quashang radios. On the left here, I'm going to add a link so you've got the instruction manual because this there is a lot to learn. But just, just want to point out that with this firmware, you do need to make a backup. If you don't make a backup, and you can use this program here called the K5 Pro by IJV. And you try and reinstall the original software with the UV K5 K6. You are gonna, it's not gonna work properly. It might still work, but a lot of the parameters will not be correct. So you need to use this is what the program looks like. You connect it using your usual Bofeng cable, and then you just it says here read full EEPROM, save that somewhere, read calibration. You need to do that, and also you can use the same window to write your firmware as well uh, after selecting the correct. Comport, I will make a video, but this video is about instruction manual links. And on the right hand side, we're also got, we've also got the firmware bin, the latest firmware bin, which is showing here October. Unless there's a new one, because I know that there are some, some, um, some other people using the same Fagi firmware, modifying it and then releasing it and giving credit to Fagi for his work. So this is the, the link that I've got. There could be better ones or or different ones so back to the instruction manual just scrolling up now I will be making videos as I learn this but you can see there it goes through everything from installation finding the spectrum where a lot of people uh, do tend to go straight for that and then selecting your frequencies your memory mode DTMF uh, and you know it, it, there's a lot of work into this because I know people think that the UVK5 physics are not advanced radios, but they are very advanced. Um, just because they are a low price does not mean they're not advanced. And the amount of you know learning you can do with one of these devices is amazing, fantastic. Probably more learning than you than, than you've ever done on any radio you've got. So remember that there's a lot to learn if you're willing to do the learning. Otherwise, you just pick it up, type in a frequency, chat to your friends. Great. That's there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're like many, many ham, hams are, you can't wait to learn. So anyway, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Catch you on air. Bye for now. The links for the firmware bin on the right, instruction manual on the left, and the link for the I, what's it called? It? The K5 programmer firmware and backup device is all there. 7.3 and hit the like and subscribe if you're finding my videos helpful.